As a patient entering the healthcare system, you're affected by informatics through every step of the way. The paradox of studying one person and individualizing care for that one person is you need huge cohorts of individuals coming together to help you know how to treat each individual person. If you look at the history of research studies and research cohorts, they've generally been focused on a given condition or a field. You think of the Framingham cohort, which is a small population, originally around 5,000 people in Framingham, Massachusetts, that really changed our understanding of, of medicine in many ways. So at Vanderbilt, we've built a, a large-scale DNA biobank linked to our medical records. Uh, it currently has about 250,000 people in it. The veterans have started a program called the Million Veteran Program, which will collect a million people or so. They have 600,000 or so now. Um, and then now there's a recent program called the All of Us Research Program, which has as its aim uh, to collect a, at least a million individuals who will have a dense phenotypic electronic health records, how to store those data, how to make them available and transportable. These are all big informatics challenges we have to solve. Informatics is really the power of taking what may seem impersonal as big data and bring it back to the individual person. You have to have huge data sets and, and big data to individualize care for each and every one of us. The goal of all the research that we do, my lab does at Vanderbilt, really is to make care better, to make uh, the whole population healthier, to figure out how to treat disease better, to figure out how to treat individual people better, to come up with new drugs, come up with new therapies and make the current ones that we have better to come up with faster diagnoses so that our people get into treatment faster. Informatics is important in all those aspects, but what's really changing is the fact that informatics is helping us take information from an individual level and aggregate it across a healthcare system to bring it up beyond maybe a healthcare system through de-identification and aggregation of various large resources um, to find, uh, use millions of people uh, to understand patterns that happen in individual patients. Thank you.